I know people are going to start asking how much I paid for this, but all in all, it cost me a But, but, before y'all start screaming at me and all that stuff, don't want to hear it, don't want to hear it. Guys, it lasts me for a year. Hey like, guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am here with another highly requested video, and that's of course going to be my skincare routine. Finally, I'll be showing you guys what I use on a daily um so this is more of like my morning routine um and my daily routine as well some things i use on a daily some things i don't but i will be explaining that to you guys as i go along with this video so as you can see from the title i'm using kills product only and no this is not sponsored or this is not an ad like literally this is because i love kills <laughs> i know some of y'all are gonna think like early that's so expensive that's over budget but guys, when it comes to skin, for me, I like to pay a good price. I don't really care as to how much I spend on skincare because I feel like at the end of the day, without good skin, my makeup ain't gonna look right and, you know, we don't wanna age the skin quickly and all that stuff. But in saying that, I do have an inexpensive skin routine um, that I use when I run out of my Kills products, I guess. <laughs> and when I feel like I'm going through my broke stages. And that I will be recording so then you guys can have a choice whether to go for the expensive route or the inexpensive route. But either way, they're both bomb as hell. So before I start, let me give you guys a bit of a heads up as to what type of skin I have. So I have normal to combination skin. I have mostly dry skin though, so like around the perimeters of my face. Um, but in terms of like my T's and stuff, that does tend to get oily sometimes. And I don't know why. Like I really want to know as to, because I've always had dry skin. So, and like sensitive skin as well a little bit. But I don't know how, where this oiliness comes from. I don't know if it's what you eat. Maybe I should, you know what? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not a skincare per, um, expert. And I really want to go to like, you know, some classes or something to learn a bit more about skin. But yeah, I don't know if it's as I get older, I'm getting more oily. I don't know if it's what I eat, but I don't know. But yeah. First things first, I use the Kiehl's Calendula. Did I say that right? Calendula? Calendula Deep Cleansing Firming Face Wash. Now this has Calendula Flower Extract. So this is good for someone that's got normal to oily skin type. It's more of a gel texture so it will activate like into like a foamy texture obviously as soon as it touches water with this face wash um it's formulated with calendu calendula flower extra and glycerine glycerine which actually helps to soothe and replenish skin and not over drying it and that's what i like because the face washes that i used to use it really used to dry out my face but this literally feels like I've still got some moisture in there, which I love. And also, what I like about it is soap and um, sulfate free. So I've gone and dampened my skin, get a little bit of this, put that around. And what I like to do is go back in with my hands and just, just rub my face. I make the ugliest faces. Ooh. Then I obviously go and rinse this off. So give me one second and let me pop to the bathroom and come back. Yeah, thanks. So now that's washed off. If I have time, I will let it air dry. If not, then I will pat dry with the towel. Always pat dry, okay? Don't go like this and ir irritate your skin. Just pat dry and you're good to go. All right, then what I like to do in the morning, if I do have time, and I only do this, I think about twice a week, but I use my Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask, also made with Amazonian white clay. Um, this literally just minimizes my pores. Apply this on damp skin, make sure you clean your face first, then use this. It says use a thin layer, but I don't think I understand what thin means, so I always like go in. Literally, just make yourself look like a panda. That's it. So after that, I would leave it for about 10 minutes to 15 minutes and let it dry. And when it feels like it's dried enough, you can either use a warm wet towel or you can just rinse it off. But I tend to rinse it off. I've never tried the whole wet towel and I feel like I'm irritating my skin again. So yeah, I'd rather rinse it off. Mm. 
I can't feel my face right now, my dream. Fifteen minutes later. I rinsed that out with water and then again pat dry with a towel. So with that face mask, what it really does for me is literally unclog my pores and just have my skin just looking more refreshed, should I say? Anyone that's normal to oily skin can use that as well. So then next up, I go in with my toner. This is the Calendula Herbal Extract Toner, which is alcohol free. Um, it's made with whole flowers and pure extracts. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some flower petals in there. So with toners, they tend to soothe and kind of um, improve problem areas that you have in on your skin. So I always like to get a cotton pad, pop that on there, a few drops. A few. After using any toner, you'll see how much dirt there is actually left on your cotton pad because it really cleans my skin, proper cleans my skin, I love it. Can you see that dirt? Yeah. Now I'm gonna use the new Kiehl's Serum. Well, this is something new that they've come out with, I think a couple of months ago from what the consultant, consultant told me. So this is what you use before your moisturizer. Um, this literally gives my face life, okay? It's got vitamin C in it. Now, I'm not saying because it's got vitamin C it's the best serum in the world, but I've used other serums before my moisturizer and oh my god Girls, that's how you get your skin Moisturized glowing and just feeling good like trust me on that. So this is the powerful strength line reducing concentrate um, It's also got the hyaluronic acid with hyaluronic acid. It is well known for its benefits it helps give dry skin some radiant and some glow um, also it reduces fine lines and wrinkles so it's a really good benefit I always use this before my moisturizer but you just want to take a little pump of that or maybe a big pump maybe add half a pump on top of that y'all know me I like to look glowy as hell and then I'll just put that around my face but please avoid the eye area. It's gonna feel a bit tingly, it's gonna feel a bit, your face is gonna start feeling warm. Don't forget your neck ladies, neck is important, moisturise the neck, not even just ladies, guys too. You don't want to just be having a young face, you want to have a young neck too. Can you guys, I haven't put moisturiser on yet, like, <sighs> hey skin, how you doing? So next up I'm gonna be using my ultra facial moisturiser. This is for all skin types, so all of you people can use it. Um, it's a really good moisturiser, it's not heavy. I like my skin moisturised, but I don't want to feel like I'm wearing something so heavy on my face. Um, so that's what this is, it's a really light moisturiser. Don't forget the neck. Can you just see? I'm glowing. Just wait. Can I just zoom in? Just, just to show you guys. Just, just look at that skin. I feel so moisturized. Yeah, guys, that is it for my skincare routine. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I know people are gonna start asking how much I paid for this, but all in all, it cost me 150 pounds. But, but. Before y'all start screaming at me and all that stuff, don't want to hear it, don't want to hear it. Guys, it lasts me for a year. Like, my other skincare products that I use from Kiehl's lasted me for a whole year. Wait, let me just calculate. 150, hold on. 150 divided by 12. That's £12.50 a month. Divide that by 4. That's £3.13 a week. That's not bad, you see? So y'all can't judge me, you, you, you can. So yeah, mm -hmm. but like I said in the beginning of this video, I will be recording an inexpensive skincare routine that I used to use as well for the past couple of four months, five months, and that was 
bomb.com but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye